Hi guys, welcome back to Grey Matter. And when we last left off, I was trying and failing at doing a magic trick in order to recruit people. But, uh, spoiler alert, I did actually figure it out. And then I have to re-record everything now because I, uh, didn't record audio accidentally. So I'm just redoing this part. I already have the part after this filmed, um recorded I guess uh, just don't try to think about it too hard because I'm not I'm just doing it again all right so if I can remember this I have to take I'm gonna have this book open just for reference all right so the sign deck is Lisa so I have to load the fake one in my sleeve take Lisa's palm this Take Lisa's over here. Misdirect. Put the spare cartridge over here. And load Lisa's up my sleeve. Boom. Hi. I saw you talking to Harvey Kinderman. I wanted to warn you about him. Seriously. You're a little late. You're joking. Did he film you? As a matter of fact, he did. You don't mean to say he filmed you too. Yeah. I was at a party a couple of nights ago, and I was feeling sick, so I went outside to, you know, be sick. I looked up, and that degenerate was filming me, puking, in the bushes. He's a worm. I'm glad I'm making him suffer. You are? How? I've got the film he took of me, and it's the only copy, too. I made sure of that. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I deleted it from his computer myself. Are you sure you got the right cartridge, though? I was in his room looking for mine, but there was so much crap everywhere. Most of the tapes weren't even labeled. I bet you didn't get the right one. I have the cartridge! This is the name of the film he said he was making. It's on the label. Can I see? Careful with that. You know what I'd do if I were you? See that barrel over there? What are you? Wait a minute! Now you'll be I'm sure, not sure that why no you didn't destroy it to begin what? with. No. Americans. I mean, as far as you know, I did you a favor, except not really, so my bad. Tell me you didn't just burn my film. Hey, this is it? What are you, like the amazing Kreskin or something? I never saw you make the switcheroo. Yeah, forget it. But don't forget about tonight. You promise. I'll be there, never fear. Hey, I got my film back. And the best part is, Lisa thinks it's destroyed. Okay, <laughs> just don't go around filming people, you weirdo. Okay. One down, three to go. So I have to do a magic trick on her now. This episode's probably gonna be on the shorter side because I know like exactly what I'm doing. Angela seems ripe for something, but which trick? Well, she is sitting by a phone, so gee, I wonder. That payphone might come in handy. I'll need to get the number off it. Take my phone. There. I put the number into my cell phone memory. It should be dialed automatically if I press dial. Alright, so... I know I have to put the phone on silent, too, to do this trick. Um, I had some trouble with the phone last time. I was, like, not able to figure out at first what I was supposed to do with it. Nope. I need to go back to the menu. This number is no longer available. I'm not trying to call Please anyone. Please the number you are calling and try again. See, I just... Every single time. Um... Okay. Back to it. Give me the phone. Okay. Menu. Contacts. Games. Options. On. Mute on. Okay. Uh, 
All right, so for the trick, we need to, um, this is an easy trick. Like, I would not be fooled by this in real life, I feel like, maybe? So I have the number, palm the cell phone in your left hand. Left hand. First time, last time I was trying to do magic, I, ca I had trouble figuring out which was my right and which was my left. They're freaking labeled. I hate my brain sometimes. Okay, um, misdirect by looking at the phone. Blah, blah, blah. And then manipulate the dial button on the cell phone in your palm. And then, um, vanish the cell phone back into your sleep. You got that, Sam? Woo! That phone is about to ring. I can feel it. Hello? This is Sam Everett. Terrific! Thank you so much. I'll see you tonight. How did you know the phone would ring just now? Oh, you know. Just this little twinge I get when something really big is about to happen. But... That was a call I've been waiting on. It's about this exciting research project. Everyone in Oxford would want to do it if they knew about it. Fortunately, nobody does. It pays well, too. I'm very happy for you. But you really get premonitions? <laughs> no. Sure. Just, you know, when fate's involved. The way you said? Anyway. This experiment is being done by a famous neurobiologist. I've played with the idea of going into medicine someday, so I wanted to see a clinical experiment firsthand. Angela? Famous neurobiologist? Who? He's a professor. Um, Dr. How many Stiles. famous neurobiologists He's really are around amazing. here? World famous. There are some stupid rumors about him. So not true. Anyway. This is a great research project, and such a valuable experience, especially if you're going into medicine. You know what I mean? I think there might be a slot left for another volunteer. You could do it with me if you want. It would be fun. Could I? Sure. Tonight if you want. It's the first session. Are you sure? Do you need to call them and ask? No. He mentioned that they need a few more volunteers. I'll call and let them know you're coming. Thank you, Sam. I'll see you then. No problem. Sweet. Alrighty. Now we gotta talk to this dude. Charles Eddington. Mind if I hang around? I was supposed to meet a friend here. Uh, well... Thanks. Okay. You got a book? Homer's Iliad. And a letter? The letter on top is from Gertrude Eddington. I bet that's his mother. Did you get mail from home? Sorry. It's just that I've been expecting a letter from my mom for days. I'm beginning to think the Oxford Post is eating it. No? I've been here for two weeks and I still haven't received a letter from my mom. She promised to write all the time. It doesn't take that long for stuff to get here from the U.S., does it? Don't know. Never got anything from there. Uh, of course not. Duh, I'm sorry. Ragging on like a total loser. I get mail every day. My mum, she writes to me every day. No way. That's sweet. God, you're lucky. I miss my mom so much. So how come you haven't opened it yet? Um, mum and I always ate dinner Aww. together, so I like to read it then. Aww, isn't that sweet? Mom and I love to ride bikes together, but reading her letters on a bike probably wouldn't be the best idea. <laughs> I see you're reading the Iliad. The Iliad and the Odyssey are my favorite ones. You've read the Iliad? Yeah, but I like the Odyssey best. I love the gods and their infighting. Total soap opera. But my favorite part is where Odysseus comes home and Penelope has all those suitors. And you're just waiting for him to kick some serious tail. My favorite part is the Cyclops. I like the way they tie themselves under the sheep to escape. I love that part. Can you believe those were the first novels ever written? And Homer still beats the crap out of anything Hollywood has put out. 
in my humble opinion. Absolutely. What's even more amazing is that he recited it from memory. Can you imagine hearing him do that? That would be amazing. Wow. Well, I'd uh, better get back to it. I too bullshitted my way through high school English class. I read, I didn't read the Iliad, I read the Odyssey, but I read like a weird abridged version of the Odyssey, which was fine by me because I, I'm pretty sure that's like a long ass book. Listen, there's something you might be interested in. It's not for everyone, but since you like Homer, I've gotten into a psych experiment that's being done by one of the Oxford neurobiologists. It's really fascinating and it pays cash. That would be interesting. But I'd need to check with my mum. She calls me on Saturdays. You're, no, you don't. I You're could fine. talk to her about it then. But this starts tonight. Then I can't. I couldn't do something like that without talking to her. Anyway, I'm sure they'll do it again. Oh no! Dr. Stiles is a really famous neurobiologist, and he almost never does this kind of thing. Oh, it will be so educational. I'm sure your mother would love for you to have an experience like this. That's what she sent you here for. Isn't it? I can't without talking to her, sorry. Okay, no big deal. Be your own man, dude. You're, what, 18? That's an adult, pretty much, kind of. Okay, legally, okay. Um, I need to get the letter from this him. This one is tough. I'll have to find a really good trick. And what trick has to do with mail? Do do do. Oh, wait, I see it. I can only set up the first part of the trick to get the letter for now. Alright, so I just gotta... Misdirect, take the letter, and vanish it up my sleeve. So, boom. 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 What? Did I do it wrong? Again. Oh, left hand. Why specifically my left hand? I don't know. Well, you know what they say. Fluffy white clouds means it's a beautiful day to fly a kite. I don't see any kites. <laughs> it's just an expression. See you later, Homer. Tee hee, okay. I don't know why I said that. Alright, so we gotta get this letter open, and according to the book, we can use steam. And I know where there's some steam. Not here, so let's get the hell out of here. Oh, look, what do we have here? Let's see, let's read this letter from his mom. Oh wait, yeah, we gotta put it over the bed. What are you doing? Don't freeze. Okay. Oh no, that's David's letter. Never mind. Uh here we go. I'll need to find something to help me open this without it looking like I've opened it. Yeah, so let's there we go. His mother Dang. certainly is involved. Must be nice to have someone who actually gives a crap. Convenient of her to include a health fair flyer. That works. Darling Charles, everything has been so quiet here. I miss you so. Mrs. Birdle was selling kittens yesterday. Do you remember when you were 10 and she put out kittens? Poor Mitzi, we even we never did find out what happened to that cat. I spoke to Miss Mr. or Miss Wells before whose grandson graduated from Oxford. He was pressing upon me how many wonderful opportunities you'll have outside your classroom schedule. I do hope you will try to get involved, darling. I saw this flyer at the market. I don't know why it was posted here at Milton, but I wish you would attend. Please do for mommy. Or mummy. Love and a thousand kisses, mum. Okay. Flyer, but oh, it looks like we're just gonna conveniently um, change that up. 
Now I can seal it and it's ready to go. Woo! Okay. Let's get back to San Edmund Hall. You can walk faster. Keep forgetting I can just go to the map. Because I don't think. Ever. Do to do. Okay. Now I gotta do some reverse. This isn't even bad. Now I can this finish the trick and put the letter someone, back. Like distracting them while I replace something. All right. So I gotta misdirect again. And there. Oh, did that wrong. Uh, again. Okay. Place the pile back in the unopened mail. Um, palm the letter in the right hand. Oh, palm misdirect and then place. Boom. Hey, Homer! Do you happen to know if that payphone over there works for international calls? I was thinking about calling my mom. Um, couldn't say. That's all right. I'll go check. See ya. Take the bait. Okay. Now I gotta go talk to you. Cause guess what? I talked Damn to it. your little boyfriend there. What's your secret? I haven't been able to get as much as a hello out of the boy. And there you are, chatting away. Well, you know, you get really close to people when you work together. But you have to be gentle with Charles. He's so inexperienced. You are diabolical. I know. So are you coming tonight? Or do I have Charles all to myself? Funny thing about virginity. Jesus Christ. Such a temporary state. Satan incarnate. Are you sure this is safe? Would Not I steer really. you wrong? All right, I'll be there. Oh, what fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a party. Okay. So I got everyone I need so far. So I'm ahead to Oxford Town Center Square, whatever they call it, and get me where I need to go. I think this is where I left off or where I started out in my video after this. So everything will just kind of flow. Do to do. All right, so again, sorry this video is on the shorter side, but I'm gonna leave it off here. And I'm glad I was able to pull that off for a second time. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I will be finishing uh, this chapter up, I believe, in the next episode. And I will see you next time.